as a little kid I've always had a passion pretty much for animals like I could say I had like probably like since I can I'd say at about like seven eight years old uh, got a subscription to National Geographic and I would look all I would watch is stuff on Discovery Channel, Steve Irwin, uh, pretty much all animal documentaries. Even now, that's all pretty much I'll watch on TV. I'd say I enjoy most about going out to the Everglades is kind of getting away. I get every, every, I'll go every single week, at least two times a week, just to get away from the city. I'll go out there for a couple hours, and I've come across different kinds of, of native box turtles, foxes, owls. And it's cool, like just you're sitting out there, I'll go out there by myself or with a couple of people and it's like a way to clear the mind. And while I'm out there, hey, now that I got the permit to hunt pythons, I, I enjoy looking for them. Every single time I see any kind of snake, it's like water moccasin, diamondback, whatever it is, rat snake. It's like, I like being able to go out there and find these things because most of the time you don't see them. But when you actually start looking and noticing the little things and looking in the grass, you get like a, it's like a sudden rush right away when you see that animal, you like, you get like, you're like filled with joy. You're like, yes, I was able to find this thing. Like, it's cool to be out there and see this stuff like that. It's, it sucks that we have to catch them and kill them because if you look at the animal, it's such a beautiful animal. And I mean, it's not their fault that they're here. Everyone, it's, it's pretty much, they've been released. They were kept improperly and they've managed to make it out there. But there are, the problem with that is they're decimating all our natural populations of animals. If they're eating little rats and squirrels, and foxes and rabbits then what are what do we have bobcats eating what are smaller gators eating what are smaller birds of prey eating there it's it's just pretty much a whole chain they were actually saying that they've conducted surveys over they've done a survey of the roadkill population down in everglades national park down a couple different roads for the last they they were looking at what the last 20 years and the last 10 years how many animals had been killed on the road from uh from cars and they said that it's down 99 percent because not many people re really know in miami not many people go out here not many people go to the everglades and see and know that there's ga j 10 foot gators everywhere else they just think that all oh, the gator parks or whatever they don't really know that what the point of the whole ecosystem is there